Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep watching, keep sharing, keep recommending stuff for us to react to. That continuously motivates us to keep doing what we do. Um... You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Feel free to say hi. We'll say hi back. You can actually, you can also check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out there. So today I'm going to be reacting to why is Ra'al Ik. Can't even pronounce this. If it's Ik. Alas, if the K is silent, I don't even know. So special. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. And we are given an ocean of knowledge, the whole complete concept in just four verses, which every Muslim child knows. The Surah Ikhlas. <laughs> The chapter on purity, ikhlas. We say, Kul hu Allah. In these four surahs, we are given a concept of God. Every concept, any concept that you can imagine, you come with those ideas of yours. Either these four verses, in these four verses, you'll be able to confirm or reject. There is not a concept that you can think or imagine, that you can think or imagine, which is not covered by these four verses. So, our Nabi Karim, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, the person who reads Surah Ikhlas, he gets one third the sawab, the blessings of reading the whole Quran. One third. Imagine, this is an encyclopedia. Just reading those four verses, once, you get one third. Three times you read, you get the sawab of reading the whole Quran. Only 12 sentences. Four at a time. Four times three. Twelve. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ اللَّهُ سَمَدٌ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُلَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفَرَ عَلَى Repeat it. Repeat it. And you got the sawab of reading the whole Quran. How do you account for that? How can you account for that? Just reading twelve sentences and you get the blessings of reading the whole book an encyclopedia. <laughs> How do you grasp that? Our Nabi Karim said so. You know what makes it so important? Those four sentences are the touchstone of theology. Theology is the study of religion. Theos in Greek means God. Theology means the study of God in religion. Theism is the belief in God. Monotheism, to believe in one God. Polytheism, to believe in many gods. Pantheism, to believe everything is God. These are theism, theos. A theist who is not a theist, who doesn't believe in God. So, these four verses are the touchstone of theology. There's no concept that you can think or imagine. If you are all right with this four, you have a good idea of what it means. You are safe from any kind of misunderstanding about God. Any kind of misunderstanding. You will be safe with Allah. The right concept. You understand you have about the four verses. Anybody brings you an idea that God is like this, God is like that. Hmm? Because in the four verses, he said, no, 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 this is rejected. This is rejected. Or this I accept. I accept this. This I reject. This is the touchstone of theology. This is like the touchstone that the jewelers use. I had the experience wanting to know about this jewelers. You see, you take along your grandma's jewelry, old jewelry. You think it's 22 karat gold. And you take it to a jeweler and says, look, I want money for this. So he said, right, leave it here. I will test it and let you know what it's worth. You go back the next day, he tells you, no, this thing is here was in nine karat gold. And it's worth 5,000. So, no, 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 my grandma could never own nine karat gold. 22 karat gold. Get back. Go to another jeweler. He said, look, I want you to cash this for me. I want money for this. So, right, leave it here. We will test it. And you return after a day or two and he also gives you almost similar amount to the previous jeweler. He said, this is nine karat gold. And the next one, he tells you it's nine karat gold. But you see this jewelry of your grandma, that had necklace, they didn't melt it. How do they know that this is nine karat? Everybody says nine karat. Is there a collusion between the jewelers? No, no, no. 
they have a touchstone, a smooth granite stone, black stone. And they have samples of gold, 9 carat, 12 carat, 18 carat, 22 carat, pieces of gold. They know this is 9, this is 18, this is 12, this is 22. Mm -hmm. So you bring your grandma's jewelry and the guy makes it like a pencil mark on that granite stone. And he sees the shade of gold. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like 22. Looks more like 9. He's got a sample of 9. By the side of it, he makes a line with a 9 carat gold. Shh, identical. So he concludes his 9 carat. Next jeweler, he says the same. He takes your grandma's jewelry, rubs it on that granite stone. And then he's got the samples and no, no, this looks like 12. He said, no, 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 the 12 is too bright. Doesn't match. Tries a 9. This is 9. It's 9. It's 9. Touchstone. This is called a touchstone, granite black stone. These four verses are the touchstones of theology. Once you have got the right understanding of this, there is Allah the one and only. Allah Samad, He is eternal, absolute. Lam yalid wa lam yulad, He does not beget and is not begotten. Wa lam yakun lahu kufana, then there is nothing like unto Him that can be imagined. And that knowledge is given to us in this book of God, the Holy Quran. The heat is really doing the most today. Um, uh, this was quite a short video by Amin Didat, whose videos I always enjoy. Um, I guess what I'm picking up from this, literally that I'm picking up from this is that <clears throat> through these 12 verses, if I'm not mistaken, you can, it's like it's a summary of what God is. It directly tells you without putting other necessary information in there on what God is and I guess it's supposed to help you with your understanding of the concept of God too because he keeps talking about theology and this being the keystone to theology and uh, whoever has read it out there what do you think of the verse how has it impacted your life and how has it changed the way you look at God uh, you can please comment down below and yeah other than that I feel like the other things are self explain I feel like the other things um, you will understand them better than me um, <clears throat> so yeah that's actually my take on this I really don't have much to say enjoyed the video but for me to understand exactly why the verses um, the verses are special or the story is special itself i have to also read the verses and figure out as to why they're that special according to amit did that so let me know what you guys actually think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video